talked to a good amount of guys today saying that Isaac needs to be in the all defensive team conversation. Right. Do you advise that to be true? I think so. He's the type of guy that leads our defense. Uh, and he has a tough job. We just put him on anybody and everybody and kind of just tell him to figure it out, you know? <laughs> and that's not easy to do in this league. But every single night, he does an excellent job at it. And we also mentioned that you, Dean, Isaac, you guys are kind of the core of that defense with right. Evan being out. Now with Evan being back, mm -hmm. it feels like you guys have the entire group. Right. How is that going to change with Evan being back? Mm -hmm. And how have you seen your defensive prowess grow? Right. Uh, it's just going to change the lineup. The core is still going to be there. We can expand the core of the four. You know, and, and now that Evan's back, he's only going to add more defensive prowess to the team. And it's going to make us even better on that end. Hey, Jared. Hey, how you doing? You guys have been convinced during this stretch that even when Evan comes back and, and Darius comes back, you can still play the same way offensively and defensively. You can still have right. the same rhythm. It looked that way again tonight. Um, mm -hmm. Why were you so convinced? And, and right. what does <clears throat> bringing Evan back do? Uh, that's just a testament to our team, a testament to JB, just everybody in this Cavs organization. They get guys who are willing to buy in, who are willing to sacrifice for this team and not just think all about them. Like you said, it showed tonight that we were able to play the same basketball that was winning us games on the stretch when everybody was out. So it's just uh, kudos to everybody. What did you see from Evan tonight in his return and, and how much of an impact right. do you think he can make moving forward? Yeah, first, it's, it's good to see Evan back. Being injured like that, having to watch the team play without you, go do everything without you, it's not easy. But, uh, you know, Evan stayed locked in. He did his treatment. He did everything he could to come back in a timely manner. And now that he's back, uh, he did excellent tonight. What, almost a double-double, blocking shots, catching lobs, bringing the ball up the court, you know, starting to pick and roll. Uh, he's looking like his old self again. I mean, it was six weeks ago when he had knee surgery. Right. And the initial timeline was six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Like, in any way, do you marvel at right. how quick this kid recovers from injuries? Yeah, I mean, we're still young, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I think we could take advantage of that while we still have these bodies that can recover from surgeries and injuries in a timely manner. But like I said, he... he took the injury seriously. He took the recovery seriously, uh, did all the treatments, did all the weight room stuff, and he got better quickly. Uh, Jackson, flipping to right down Euclid. Uh, so Donovan has been the point guard for the last month and a half. How have right. you seen his game develop during this time, considering this is the last, probably the last right. game he's playing that role? Yeah. Uh, just his ability to find people on not picking rolls, uh, kicking out to the corner. I feel like the game's slowing down for him as a point guard. Uh, he's made some incredible passes to the corner when the man's helping. Uh, even to me, some, uh, I know last game he had a dime behind the head to me or whatever that was. Uh, just his ability to see the floor and find the open man. Uh, were you surprised your team didn't know what a matinee was? Uh, not really. Not really, you know. <laughs> I grew up with theater. You know, I grew up watching shows. So I, I feel like I had to know what a matinee was. <laughs> did, did you hear Isaac's explanation of what matinee meant? Yeah, and he seemed confident in it, too. <laughs> we had no idea. <laughs> but we had matinee games, so you'd think they would know. <laughs> more on a basketball note, um, you, there was a lot of possessions where the Clippers tried to force Kawhi onto you. Right. And it's just, you know, another defensive assignment where you're defending a guy in isolation in space. Mm -hmm. Do you just relish those opportunities and like maybe right. proving opponents wrong? Like, hey, I'm actually pretty comfortable doing this. Right. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not the most comfortable doing it. You know, it's it's not something I'm used to. The team always says funnel everything to me. I'm used to being the guy down there and watching Dean or Isaac guard those guys. But it's something new that I need to learn. It's something that I'm able to learn. You know, I didn't do the best job in my, tonight, in my opinion, but I was able to talk to our defensive coach, and he's giving me pointers about how to get better. That's one, hey. hey, Jerry. Um, obviously, you're, you know, you know, JB and your teammates have been talking about an all-star for you for a while, and right. you've been playing really well. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, with Evan coming back and Darius, coach said he's really close to returning too. Right. Um, what's your mentality about you know, obviously they're going to be coming back, but mm -hmm. you're, you know, what can you do and what, what's right. your look at mm -hmm. remaining as effective as you've been in the stretch of that? Right. Um, just keep playing the ball that I've been playing. I know it's not going to be the four round one spacing that we're used to that uh, we're able to kick the ball out to anybody. Um, 
but it's still effective basketball. You know, this team won 51 teams with having these this two big lineup and having Darius there too. So it's not going to slow us down. I think we still have a lot to build off of having all four of our core back. So I'm looking forward to having everybody back and playing the best basketball.